Hello students, how are you? Hope you all are keeping fine. On previous class, we have to study about two different synthetic fibers. That is rayon and nylon. Today, we are going to study about two more synthetic fibers. That is polyester and acrylic. Polyester and acrylic. First we study polyester. Polyester is a synthetic fiber and the fabric made from this fiber is not wrinkled easily. Wrinkled means line or fault. If you go outside of your house you can iron your dress. Why? You can avoid the fold or lines in your dress. Isn't it? Yes. The second property is the fabric made from this fiber that doesn't get wrinkled very easily. That means it doesn't make any lines or fold very easily. Okay. And polyester is a very quite suitable for making dress materials. Polyester is quite suitable for making dress materials. Okay. Then the most popular polyesters are terylene and PET. The most popular polyesters are terylene and PET. What do you mean by PET or PET? Polyethylene terephthalate. PET means polyethylene terephthalate. Okay. Then the popular polyesters are terylene and PET. PET. The full form of PET is polyethylene terephthalate. This PET used for making bottles, utensils, film wires and many other useful products. Okay. What you study here? First one is polyester is a synthetic fiber and the fabric made from this fiber does not wrinkle. That is does not make any lines or fall that very easily. And then the polyester is quite suitable for making Dress material and the most popular polyesters are terylene and PET. Okay, terylene is a polyester and PET is the most popular polyester. These two are the most popular polyesters, terylene and PET. PET, the full form of PET is polyethylene terephthalate. Okay. This PET is used for making bottles, utensils, film wires and other useful products. Okay. Okay, next. All of you look on that note. Polyester. Polyester, poly plus ester is actually made up of units of a chemical. Okay. Is actually made up of a repeating units of a chemical. Polyester, it is actually made up of a repeating units of chemical which is known as ester. The repeating unit of esters are joined to form a polyester. Okay. Once more, the polyester we can separate as poly plus ester. This is actually made up of the repeating unit of chemical. That chemical is called ester. These esters are chemicals. Okay. These esters are chemicals which give fruits their smell. In your previous class you have taught that in your fruit... That give a fruity smell. That is a chemical present in it. That chemical is ester. 
okay this ester is the chemicals which give fruits their smell okay and then the polyester which can be solved by the nines like polygot polywool terricot etc like that okay this polyester is solved by the nines so like polygot polywool terricot etc you can note that nine polycot which means semester of polyester and cotton from that nine we also assume that what are the material is there polycot which means polyester and cot means cotton okay then polycot is a mister of polyester and cotton then polywool polywool is a mister of polyester and wool from that nine you also assume that poly cotton which means polyester and cotton poly wool which means polyester and wool okay once more i explain the about polyesters polyester is a synthetic fiber it doesn't make any wrinkles easily and it is very quite suitable for making dress the two popular polyesters are terrilene and pet pet the full form of pet is polyethylene terephthalate polyethylene terephthalate this pet is used for making bottles utensils film wires and other useful products then this polyester is made by the repeating unit of ester we can split the term polyester as poly plus ester it is actually made up of this polyester is actually made up of the repeating unit of a chemical which is called an ester okay this ester gives the smell of fruits okay and in market this fabric is sold by the names like polycot polywool terricot etc okay polycot means polyester plus cotton that is polyester and cotton polywool means polyester and wool okay next we move on acrylic the next synthetic fiber is acrylic this acrylic is also a synthetic fiber or a man made fiber this acrylic is known as artificial wool sometimes we buy sweaters from market this is not a natural wool this is made from not a natural wool this acrylic is used for that okay so the acrylic is so resemble for wool natural wool so it is known as artificial wool acrylic is a synthetic fiber or a man made fiber and it is known as an artificial wool or synthetic wool because it resembles wool because it resembles wool and this acrylic is very cheaper than natural wool acrylic is very cheaper than natural wool and it can be dyed in various colors okay and it can be dyed in various colors this makes the acrylic very popular among other fabrics this makes acrylic very popular among other fabrics once more acrylic is a synthetic fiber and it is known as artificial wool because it resembles as wool and it is very cheaper than the natural wool okay that means it is very less expensive than the natural wool materials okay and then it can be dyed in various colors it is available in a variety of colors in market this makes acrylic is very popular among other fabrics okay then acrylic is a man made fiber it is a synthetic fiber and it is also 
known as an artificial wool. It resembles as an wool. Okay. And it is very less expensive and it can get variety of colors. Okay. And can be dyed in variety of colors. So this makes acrylic very popular among other fabrics. Are you clear? Yes. Next, we should wear, we should not wear synthetic fibers while walking in kitchen. Give reason. This is actually a disadvantage of the synthetic fiber. That means this synthetic fiber melts on heating. Melt. This synthetic fibers melts on heating. If the cloth catch a fire, it is a disastrous one. It melt and stick to the body of the person wearing it. So, we should not wear synthetic clothes while working in kitchen or in a laboratory. Okay. This is actually a disadvantage of a synthetic fiber. Once more, we should not wear a synthetic clothes while working in a kitchen. Give reason, synthetic fibers that melt on heating. When the clothes catch fire, it can be disastrous. Because this cloth melt and it makes a more burn to a body. Okay. It makes more burn. It makes more burn. So, the synthetic fibers are not used for while working in kitchen or in a laboratory. This is the disadvantage of a synthetic fiber. Okay. Then, what do you mean by a petrochemicals? Petrochemicals. All synthetic fibers. We have studied the four different synthetic fibers. That is polyester, acrylic, nylon, rayon. These all synthetic fibers are prepared by a number of processes. Okay. These all are prepared by a number of processes using raw materials of petroleum. Okay, petroleum origin. This is called petrochemicals. Once more, all the synthetic fibers which are prepared by a number of processes using raw materials of petroleum products or petroleum origin. This is called petrochemicals. Okay, petroleum or origin. This is called petrochemicals. All the synthetic fibers are prepared by a number of processes that using the raw materials of petroleum origin which is called petrochemicals. Okay. Next, we look on the characteristics of synthetic fibers. Characteristics of synthetic fibers. These synthetic fibers are durable. Okay. It is long durable. When compared to that of a natural fiber, it is long durable. And less dense, less expensive, less expensive. Okay. And less expensive and very easy to available in our shops. Are readily available. That is very easy to available. Okay. The first character is. Synthetic fibers which are durable, which can use for a long period of time that compared to that of a natural fiber. And it is less expensive than natural fiber. Okay. And then it is readily available. It is very easy to get it. And the next one is easy to maintain and wash. The synthetic fibers are very easy to maintain and wash. And also it is dried up. They are dried up very easily than natural fibers. Okay. Dried up in a less time. Synthetic fibers are much stronger than natural fibers. Synthetic fibers are much stronger than natural fibers. 
these are the characteristics of synthetic fibers once more synthetic fibers are durable less expensive and readily available they are easy to maintain and wash they are dried up in less time synthetic fibers are stronger than natural fibers okay okay students today i wind up my class all of you study well all of you do all activities that given in your classes okay we will meet you on next class